Welcome to the Bentley Systems training course where you will learn how to specify deflection checks for an elevated slab in RAM concept. This workflow is a multi-step process, including defining the deflection limit criteria, instructing the program where to check the slab for deflection, and then performing the calculation and reviewing the results. For this particular video, we're at the point in our workflow where we've already defined the deflection limit criteria and instructed the program where to check the slab for deflections. We are now ready to perform the calculation and review the results. Now for this workflow, we could either perform a full calculation or a partial calculation. To save some time, I'm gonna go ahead and select the partial calculation option, which is available in the standard toolbar. Within this calc dialog, I'm gonna ask the program to go all the way through the load history calculations and I'm going to ask the program not to interrupt the calculation for warnings as I've already reviewed those in previous runs. At this point, let's go ahead and click on the calc button and let the program perform the calculations. Now the deflections used for the deflection checks will be calculated in a multi-step process by the program. First, each span segment or deflection check line will be subdivided into stations along the object. Next, the total deflection at each station along the object will be determined for the layer or layers defined in the deflection check criteria. Next, a downward and or upward deflection limit will be determined at each station based on the user defined deflection check criteria. And then finally, the total deflection is compared to the upward or downward deflection limits as applicable. Now it should be noted that calculated deflections represent the deflections at point locations along the spine of a span segment or a deflection check line. Deflections are not integrated across the cross section length or design strip width for span segments similar to the way that design forces and moments for cross sections would be determined. And that's an important distinction to understand since we did assign these deflection checks to span segments. So we wanna understand how the calculations are a little bit different for this. Now at this point, let's go ahead and wait while the program continues the calculation. Now, after the calculation is complete, you can review the results of the deflection checks on each of the deflection check layers. So let's go ahead and take a look. To access that information, select your layers menu bar item, followed by deflection checks. And we should be able to see our three deflection checks that we specified through our criteria. Let's go ahead and start with the first one. And we can go ahead and take a look at a status plan a deflection check plan or a standard deflection check plan. And I'm gonna be focusing on the status plans. So what I'm basically looking for, we've included a symbol here of a delta that'll let you know that this is a deflection check object. And we've given you the status of the deflection check. So this is everywhere where a deflection check was performed for the occupancy instantaneous live load according to the deflection limits that were specified in that criteria. Here I'm seeing all of the objects are saying okay, so we don't have any failing deflection check objects. If you had, they would appear in red and say no good. Let's go ahead and take a look at our other deflection check status plans. 
to see if we're within our acceptable limits. For the final instantaneous live load, it looks like we have passed all deflection checks. And then lastly, we can also check the information in our, for our cladding live load that was applied. Now, what we're gonna notice is we didn't assign this deflection check to every design span in the model. We only applied it to the perimeter design spans as those were the ones that would be most affected by the loading of the cladding. Now, this concludes our process for Checking an elevated concrete slab in RAM concept for deflection limits. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.